Alright. So, we just put in a new exhaust fan. I am about to get ready to mud. The area that is busted right there. So, I'm about to repair that. I don't got my good drywall tools with me, so I'm about to just make do with what I got. Left everything at the last job, it's still there until I finish. So, I'm at the crib, I'm just gonna use this stuff. <laughs> I don't feel like going to Home Depot. I'm working on the job. Okay. Honestly, I'm just gonna use the small trial. Safety first, I'm standing in a chair, so I'm gonna take it easy. Try to keep everything organized. I just stepped on the trash bag. So now since since that's a corner, an edge. The vent gonna sit the vent. The vent cap is gonna sit on it. So I'm gonna put on some tape. I'm right here, right it. Do a quick cut. My man. Try to even out some of the low spots. Okay. 
Get all that out the edge. Good with this. I'm good with that. I'm good with it. A little sand ain't gonna be needed, but I'm good with it. I'm good with it. I'm about to paint anyways. Alright, so. So while I got the mud, I, I might as well look for any other for any other gashes in the wall before I, before I paint. I just found one, so let me adjust the camera. Take them both off and go on here to patch up. Both, both. Uh, for these little holes, I'm not even going to use any tape. I'm just going to stuff them with mud and sand it. I'm just going to do this because I'm going to actually put, I'm going to put the new, it. 
Okay. And that's all, folks. I'm going to sand it down tomorrow when it dry. This stuff needs 24 hours to dry this premix. So I'm going to let it dry. And uh, get it going. I'm about to get ready to sand. Before I put it in the cellophane, I made I patched it up on the side, so I'm about to sand that now. Okay. Before we do that, I want to get my mask. Was, you definitely want to use your mask when it's time to sand. So I'm going to get my mask. I got my shot back. This one was to suck out. Suck out this dust. Shot back, and then I'm gonna turn off my 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 exhaust fan. I don't want the dust getting sucked into it. Then another thing I suggest is to move your paint tray so you do not so you do not get the dust into your trays. Or into your paint. Okay. I got the top off the toilet, so I'm gonna sit it back on. You wanna cover up anything that you do not wanna get dusty. Already got the tub good to go. So I'm gonna get my chair. And be careful that you do not damage anything, your new walls. All right, so I got my sanding block. Okay, so we climb up here, turn my vacuum, and we're about to sand this down.
I don't think the shot back did me any good, but. <laughs> Got it together. Suck out some of this dust out the air. Before I sand down, sorry, my phone. But before I sand down this patch up there, I'm about to run the heat gun across it because this is pre mixed and it needs to sit for 24 hours. And you can you can tell it's still wet because of the color. Normally, once it's dry, it's gonna be white. It's gonna be white or grayish color, and you can see it's still wet. So I'm about to hit it with the heat gun, so I can sand it. It's only been a few hours, so I'm gonna run this. And this is all you do. You can actually see it start to fade. It ain't even been two and a half minutes. Do this for about five, six minutes. So I have to do what I just did. It hit the ball. Oh, 
pretty good. I just want to be able to give it a light sand over the top. I believe we just there. I don't got my good sanding pad, so I'm going to use just the block. And I'll just use this just to show you that you can do it with one of these with no problem. Okay, so I'm going to get my ladder so I can climb up there and be right back. Alright, as always, the mask up. You know me, I don't edit out, I don't edit out none of this. I've never put this thing going the right way, that's why it always comes off. I'm going to do it one day. I need to get this thing a good cleaner. Alright. There we go. All right, so I just gave it a light sand, smoothed out the edges. Now I'm about to just hit it with some paint, with some more primer, touch up a few other spots with the primer, and now I'm going to start painting with the final coat.